to get the horizon plateau in the right position on the page and it has to be straight and therefore I had to use a ruler to help me with that. I had to make the pencil marking very faintly because I didn't want the pencil marks to show through when I do my wash but after I got the lines correct then I use um, watercolor pencil to make stronger marks and darker areas wherever the light is least. in the reference photograph the road the dirt road had to be um, a key point in the image it has to lead curve and lead towards you towards the viewer um, in which case um, when it is done well um, the viewer would have the desire to drive or walk through that road into the area of the sculpture. Basically the road is more of a leading line into your main subject. important that the perspective of the four sculptures are neat and perfect. different types of pen and pencil on top of that is that these pens will give you different kinds of effects the fountain pen uh, for example the drawing time is much lesser so if I quickly use the water brush over it I can have a neat wash on the other hand the gel pen is more um, permanent and doesn't mix with water that easily but then its drying time is it's a bit um, fast so I have to quickly <coughs> use the water brush over the gel pen sometimes
it's very important that the edges of the sculpture be neat and clean. So therefore I use the ruler to do that. Because that's the main subject and you don't want jagged edges on the sculpture. Normally, um, to make the ink pitch black, when the production end, they mix cyan or blue into black to give you that pitch black. So there's always this 15 to 20 percent of blue added to black ink to make it really, really pitch and matte black. That's why when I gave it a wash with my water brush, the blue from the ink came out, it emerged and it's a beautiful thing to have the tain, a faint uh, blue come out from the black. So in order for me to have uh, faint markings, I take the water brush, dip it in the wet dots and take it over to other areas and mark as faint dots. done almost done um, this piece um, I think I've taken roughly about 15 to 16 minutes total to complete quick works like these um, are possible to be accomplished if you know the subject very well um, especially if you have been there um, you have taken photograph of those or studied them extensively so in such cases, you would be able to finish your work in under half an hour's 